So uh, the they have been the, well, they have been in the field, uh, even though the approvals were relatively recent. Uh, there is such a buzz about them that, in fact, uh, I personally have been using them for the past several months. I would say that. Uh, they have become now the standard second-line treatment for sure. Um, whether they're going to become also in the front line or whether they're going to become uh, single agent or in combination, that I think is the work for the next few years. Um, but what, what was pointed out is that the first drug, nivolumab, was approved for use based on efficacy in squamous carcinoma, like I said, um, and then subsequently approved for use in non-squamous carcinoma based on uh, another trial called Checkmate 57. Uh, and that, that, um, the, the feature about that was that it did not seem, for sure in squamous carcinoma, there's no correlation with PDL expression, okay? Um, for pembrolizumab, the approval was very specific for people who are very positive, greater than 50%. Uh, so yes, they've been used. I've certainly used nivolumab a lot. I began to use pembrolizumab. Uh, the question really is not whether these drugs have efficacy. Is how do you pick who you're going to give them to, and how do you pick who you should test who, sh who you should test uh, for the PD-1 expression?